Can you hear it? Absolute silence from the city, the people, the politics, and social media. A state of solitude in arms of nature. A place where no word is necessary. No opinion is needed. And showing off will drain away like the rainwater in a muddy downhill pathway. Absolute silence from the artificial world. Nothingness is everything you want. There's no reason to stare out. But you want to. You want to be lost in the depth of this silent forest. No, there is no work to be done. You do what naturally comes to you. You want to nurture and take care of life. Nourish nature around you. Simplicity of life makes you wonder of the contemplation we pile upon ourselves. There's nothing to say. Everything about life is simply observed. Such moments naturally bring your instincts out. To sit, have a cigar, and have absolutely nothing on your mind. Nature around won't let you think. How brilliant. Man and his cigar is nothing short of man and his dog in the wild. It's a companionship produced by nature. Each puff of cigar you take, you get lost deeper into the presence of the nature. You get lost in the presence of the moment. I never realized sitting on a porch in wilderness can make time simply disappear. Day turns into night, and nothing around you changes. Just you with your cigar, and great company. It's amazing how your mind, when still, 
feels out of element. Why are you relaxed? It asks. Why are you so calm? This is not normal. It tells you. You got your work to do. You got bills to pay. Don't relax. Good morning. The morning. A morning that you never wanted to end. When was the last time you felt this way? I can't remember. Brewing coffee never smelled so refreshing. Walking an early morning with coffee infused cigar felt like a Chanel suit on Audrey Hepburn. It's hardly ever crosses our mind that walking without aim and without thoughts is natural to our soul. Just to be and not trying to be.
Yes, I am alone and I can't be more joyful. Solitude can be more addictive than a drug. When in complete solitude of nature, mind will have a hard time racing to reminisce the past. It has no value of any future goals. You are simply no longer your artificial self. Just sit for a moment and see what this universe is doing. It simply grows, dies, and repeats. That's the essence of cosmos you only understand in complete solitude. You realize you are no one. You are nothing. You are grown from the help of this planet. You die with the mercy of this planet. Just be and observe. Solitude unlocks the door to many more opportunities you never knew were there. It's okay to walk alone on a path sometimes. You won't fall. You might even make new friends. Solitude with loved ones help you cherish each and every moment with them because you have no distractions. It's you and them. The silly laughters, playing board games, and finally seeing life grow in front of you. Out in wilderness, one can't help but make food on raw fire. It's been in our DNA for centuries to cook out in the open. I truly can't even express what I feel at this moment. I just want it to be still.
It truly is hypnotizing to sit in front of a burning fire in middle of nowhere. Fire becomes everything for you. It's your life, light and savior. Watching fire for countless minutes and hours truly makes your mind attentive in the moment. You get lost in its burning flames, its ashes, its smoke. I just want to be here and just be. Be myself and nothing else I want to pretend as I do in the city. ऐसा लगता है हवन हो रहा है ना या धूनी 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 नाथ योगी बन नाथ योगी ना वे नॉट नाथ योगी दैट्स अ स्ट्रेच अरे हम लोग पिछले जन्म का नाथ योगी है ना पिछले जन्म का नाथ योगी या ओह मैन ही देर स्टार्टिंग टू स्टार्टिंग टू कम अप या शो अप देर One thing is, you can have all the attractions around you, mm. but as soon as the fire is lit anywhere, mm. the whole everybody's attention is on fire. It just gets your attention. And that was one of the reasons why not yogis always create fire because it, they pretty much meditate just by looking at it. Maybe fire is the attractor. Maybe the most handsome. Well, because fire is the only thing you will notice. Everything drops down on the ground. Whether it's a ball, whether it's a piece of wood, a plane, everything will drop down. Fire is the only thing that goes up. Only burns up. Wait, Kritika. Well, yeah, because okay, if you so look at it, Kritika is. Is the fire correct? The, the and everybody's correct. attention on the fire. Correct. So that's so Kritika individual will always be attracting, attract, attracting yeah. other people. Other people, yeah. Yeah. They will have some type of charm and all. Yeah, like I mean. And there are like some fe my friends who are like Kritika. I mean, it's like. From there, mm -hmm. all the way till there, it's nothing but stars. Because of the moon, you don't know. You think? But moon is gonna dip, maybe around 1 a.m. Yeah. It was not a meteor. It was something else, like a twinkling thing. Where? Only just. 
Just right there? Yeah, near the direction of moon. Oh, Just wow. Just above these trees, little bit above, much above the trees, but the direction of this. And it wasn't a shooting star no, or something? it was not a shooting star. <laughs> Well, it's starting. <laughs> Scorpio is rising now. Really? Yeah. Scorpio. Oh no. Yeah. Now it is rising. Oh man. <laughs> 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 it's Purva Falguni. Oh, those two. Ah, and where are we right now? On what we are sleeping? Oh, <laughs> kind of like a hemrock bed. <laughs> wow, that is so crazy. Is it right above us and yeah. we're playing the theme out? Oh, that my is Pura Falguni and that star? Yeah. That, one, that is Uttara Falguni. <laughs> and wow. then this, this part will be uh, Magha part. So right now, and it's like right above our head and here we are sitting. <laughs> oh my god, this is just insane. Exactly our head is Purva Falguni. Yeah. So the 10th house will be Purva Falguni, Kapil. 10th house will be Purva Falguni. Of yeah, course, it has because, to be. uh, you know, Scorpio was rising. So yeah, that's it. Get? seen the deep tonight you can the see deep correct. jungle right there but you can see correct yeah you see there's a, like there's a conversation going on In a year, three and a half murat comes where you don't have to see any planetary significance or anything. Yeah. It, it's good. One is, you know, Akshay Tritya. Yeah. One is, I know, it's it's Dasara. One is something like, and there is also, there is one more day, one more Titi, and there is one more half Titi. Oh. There's only half Titi involved. Okay. So it's a Sade, Sade Tin murat means, Sade, these, these three and a half days, no looking of any planetary uh, observations. Or observation. It's 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 good day. Oh yeah. Next yeah. Oh yeah. How is that book coming up? At the speed of light. Wow. So tell me something about the, I know I have, I have because. Well, I've you're the editor. Yeah, you should so know. know. <coughs> but but how it's all started? You know how that idea started and uh, why that came into your mind? How did it all happen? So, uh, See the thing is, about it, I know? have read many books on astrology and especially on nakshatra when i wanted to go dive deep into it but i just couldn't find you know information where predictive ability was shown like like you can pinpoint things about a person i mean they were very like vague you know subjective uh you know details and personifications on nakshatras that could be applied to any particular person with with any particular nakshatra so i'm like this is not right because now that i am seeing how nakshatras work you know 
the most of the information out there is not how the nakshatras should be studied and that's what just motivated me and especially one of the biggest thing was is that I wanted to put my actual research into the book my observation what was I seeing what was I witnessing on a particular nakshatra day what happened with a certain planet and a certain nakshatra day and that's the observation that I wanted to give to the people that listen this is what's happening when moon is here this is what's happening when this ascendant was running or when this third house was happening so it was like pretty much showing people not just the mythology of the nakshatra but hey this is how they work this is exactly what they're doing and this is exactly what they will do in your life just just to make you know complicated so simple what, what i see is okay you so what was your idea was there are many books which talk about nakshatras which gives all the <coughs> detailed information but something which really talks about the experience of or sharing your observations or research that was not yeah. available so far so you wanted to build on that and then show that how these theories yeah. you know, of all each qualities of nakshatra plays into human lives daily on a daily on a moon nakshatra basis whenever a moon transits that nakshatra yeah. you have some theme or the other play right now we were saying you know remember we were saying about purva falguni and the theme of uh, how we are sitting on a hammock here. yeah and right above our head we have uh, purva falguni purva falguni rising yeah. and it was it's like we're playing its head. part out <laughs> down below as above so below as above so below yeah okay. so yeah i really like the observational aspect which was very unique and i have never seen anywhere like that so far you know the daily moon transits of course we have done moon transits yeah. to for in our own personal basis and i also recommended some of the students to do that but uh, this is like you have done that and then you have put it into a book form or tabulated form that helps <laughs> people to learn about that nakshatra more in depth and and you know the funny part is for most of the observation you were also present not just editing the book i know i know, I know. but also present <laughs> for the observation that was happening oh my god this happened <laughs> yeah and what was the nakshatra oh my god this took place okay. yes and most of the that they seem are like you know movies yeah uh, like many examples sort of our movies like the movie so, so we used to always select a movie for the day yeah and every day we selected was something we just randomly seen. selected a movie yeah but then for some reason boom it's just playing out the theme of the nakshatra exactly can you quote one example kapil i know we have numerous examples which comes into vividly into your um, mind at present that would be this i i still remember this uh, particular movie it was on purva bhadrapada day uh huh and remember it was this father and son who's doing a um, autopsy on this dead oh, girl yeah 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 so it was a funeral cot playing out oh, okay and everything related to magic Similarly, we saw Danishti, Danishta also. We saw. You remember one medical theme? Danishta yeah. medical theme playing yeah. out. Yep. Just because we just wanted to watch some horror movie, some scary movie. Yeah, moment. Who? Bol rahi hai. Fire. Jungle. Stars. I mean, it's like people dream of this moment. Huh? Who bol rahi hai? Fire. Jungle. Stars. The bird. रात का भी एक अलग ही है आई लव नाइट मोर देन द डे करेक्ट या कैन यू रिकॉर्ड द बर्ड साउंड आई एम श्योर वी कैन 